Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my Chanel. Oh my God, y'all, this is my very first story time of the year in my room. I'm back home from my trip and yeah, I'm excited to get this video to y'all. I'm not sure when this video is gonna get pushed out, but um, happy new year. I know I've dropped other videos before this video into the new year, but I just wanna be the first one to tell you guys happy new years. And I hope your new year is going good so far. So let's get straight into the video. But before we get into the video, we do have a sponsorship. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the sponsorship, then we're gonna get straight into the video. So I wanna be the very first one to ask you. I don't know about y'all, but as for me, I search my name up on Google, okay? And some of the things that I see sometimes, I don't like it, okay? I, I be seeing some things from when I was in second grade on Google with, with, with old pictures from back in the days on Google. And I'd be like, how did this get here? Have you guys ever searched up your name on Google and found stuff that you didn't want to see? I know I have. You begin to realize that sometimes your address is on Google. You begin to realize that all your email addresses is on Google. You begin to realize that your first, your last name, your middle name, your daddy name, your pappy name, your ancestry dog, everything is on Google. And you looking like, how did this get here? Let me tell you something. Data brokers literally break and hack into your accounts whenever you sign into different websites and stuff like that. They steal your data and they hack into it and plaster it all out on the internet without you knowing. And this is the reason why Aura is going to be our sponsor for today. So Aura is a digital security protective system that specializes in protecting your data, also showing you what type of data you have out there and making it a point to protect your data so brokers scammers do not have access to those specific data and they are not able to scam you i don't know about you guys but i've been recently getting emails random emails of people emailing me telling me that i purchased this this amount and and um from different websites and they're charging like 700 dollars and they have my whole first my last name my email address and my address and they're basically basically telling me to call the number to verify whether i purchased these items from this website and I have one of my friend's mom, she accidentally ended up calling the, the number and they, they got all her information. And my first question was, how did they even get her email address, her home address, her first and last name to begin with? Like I said, these brokers, whenever you guys sign into these websites and stuff like that, these brokers legit take your information and plaster it on the internet, making it apparent for scammers to use your information and give your information out to other scammers to use your information and bribe you for money or steal or use things in your name that they have no business using in your name. And that is where Aura comes into play. Aside from the hackers hacking into your information and, still, and stealing and selling your information to other hackers, those spams of unimportant emails that you do not need to the point where you're not able to see your important emails are out of hand and they are annoying. So when you sign into Aura, you are going to be eliminating a lot of spam that you get through your email, through your messages. You're going to be eliminating all that. So your important emails emails can be shown. I don't know about you guys, but it's been so many times where I have missed important emails because I've gotten nothing but spam emails to the point where sometimes I don't check all my emails and I end up missing important emails. So Aura is going to be the one to knock all that out of the way. And the good thing about this website is that Aura is a very, very affordable website. I am going to leave the link in the description box down below. You guys could definitely use the two week free trial so you guys could get the gist of it. You guys could see whether you would want to use this website or not and definitely definitely i personally i'm about to go check it out y'all i'm i'm gonna check it out because i went and i searched my name up in the search bar and i was seeing a whole bunch of things that i didn't like so i'm gonna go check it out so i can eliminate as much as i can eliminate and i definitely would like you guys to go check it out and i like the fact that aura is giving you a two-week free trial so you guys could get the gist of it and all you have to do is go to aura.com going to be leaving the link in the description box down below so yeah you could definitely click my link and go ahead and check the website out and see if you guys would want to get into it. If you guys end up getting into it and y'all like it, let me know down below. I don't know about you guys. I know that I like to tell all my business and stuff out here on the internet, but your girl also likes a little bit of privacy. And with Aura, you are definitely going to get that. So I would definitely like to thank Aura for sponsoring today's video. And I know why you guys are here. So thank you if you sat through the sponsorship, but let's continue to this story time, honey. So all right, y'all, all right, y'all, all right, y'all. So um, this is, another one of my bullying story times and before we get started before we get started somebody commented the other day asking 
why do all of your story times have to do with high school? Because, baby, <laughs> I'm living a free and abundant life now, okay? I feel, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't, and, and me personally, that person must be new here. Because in my honest opinion, I feel like I have story times from when I was young. I feel like I have, I gave you guys story times from middle school. I feel like I gave you guys story times from uh, college. I feel like I gave you recent story times of my life. But m most of the main shit happened when I was in high school. Like, that's where majority of the main stuff happened. And I honestly do not see the reason why there's an issue with me giving you guys, um story times from high school because that's where majority of the drama and everything happened i don't know if some people like and mind you that's not the first person who has commented something like that i've had someone in the past comment something along the lines of like oh my god these story times are so old just because the story time is old doesn't mean it didn't happen there's still something that happened a part of my life and it made me who i am today believe it or not you know what i mean so yeah majority of my story times are from high school because that's where majority of the shenanigans happen and i'm happy that majority of my story times are not now because i don't want to be as you guys know i'm 26 i don't want to be 26 living what i was li the stories i'm telling i don't want to be living that now i know when i tell y'all some of these story times it's for entertainment but some of these story times were traumatizing af you know what i mean so i don't know why that person asked that i don't know what they were trying to get out of asking that but um yeah to answer your question honey majority of the stuff happened when i was younger okay and i answered their question but i just had to clarify it here because I didn't get the question like I really did not get the question at all so because it happened at high school I shouldn't tell it like I'm confused but let's get straight into the video I'm so sorry I'm trying to reapply my lip gloss because I put on this lip gloss about 30 minutes ago and it's literally like getting off so always ask me what my lip combo is and i'm gonna tell y'all my lip combo then i'm gonna for real get into the story time because i know some people are getting frustrated but this is the mac lip liner is in the shade ninth moth this is um a beauty supply lip gloss it is just a clear well not clear like a pinky type of lip gloss i just went i have glitter i went and put a whole bunch of glitter inside this lip gloss because i like my lips to be oh my god oh my god y'all why y'all didn't tell me <laughs> I like my lips to be glittery or whatnot. I like my lips to be very glittery. Then I have my Dior Lip Plumper um, in the shade. It don't have a shade. Oh, wow. Yeah, it doesn't have a shade or whatnot, but this is my favorite, favorite lip gloss. I use it all the time. And then I put an NK lip gloss on the very top so that's my lip combo majority of the times whenever you guys ask now they do change but that's my lip combo majority of the time so let's get straight into it so we're gonna name this boy pig we're gonna name him pig because bitch he the pig he the donkey of the day bitch not me he's the pig i wasn't the pig i don't know why he ever thought i was the pig and i know you guys are watching the video like girl what are you talking about but as the video goes on you guys are gonna understand why he was named pig or whatnot and when i get into more of my bullying story times i'm also going to talk more and more about my principal because my principal hated me y'all like when I tell you she hated me she hated my guts and honestly speaking I hated her too <laughs> Woo -woo. bitch I hated her too like I didn't like this lady I felt like she showed favoritism a lot she was one of them we're gonna get into it so boom so this was around the time where like I was still getting bullied and let me give you guys the description to pig i did not know pig like that at all never had a class with pig but pig was in the group with stanley and if you are new to the channel and you do not know stanley stanley was this guy that i was dating at the time my damn near my whole high school career um we were not like boyfriend and girlfriend but we were dating and everybody around the school knew we were dating and stanley's friends hated me like they hated me so much they hated the fact that he was talking to me they used to um basically tell him not to talk to me and stuff like that that I was an embarrassment they will also tell like they would just they would just tell him not to talk to me like I was an embarrassment because you guys have to imagine everybody damn near everyone at the school hated me I mean I had friends don't get me wrong but a lot of more people hated me than not at the school so his friends were just so confused as to why he just kept talking to me right 
I didn't care, y'all. I didn't I didn't have no type of care in the world. I did not care about the fact that his friends didn't like me. As far as your girl was concerned, I wasn't. I didn't care. I'm sorry, y'all. This eye, it's like, y'all, my eye was perfectly fine until I got on camera. But let's get straight into it. So if you guys see me playing with my eye, I'm so sorry. It hurts so badly. But basically, I wasn't concerned. I didn't care. I used to come around Stanley in the hallways. They'll be me mugging the hell out of me. Bitch, I'll be me mugging them right back. I would come with my friends and my friends would be laughing. They thought it was funny and I didn't care. Like as far as I was concerned, like I said before, I wasn't concerned. I didn't care. So um, one day I was arguing on Twitter with one of his friends. Um, we're not going to give him a name because he's not as important to the story. But me and him were arguing and honestly, I do not remember what we were arguing about. But all I remember is that Pig always used to see me when I would talk to Stanley I never had a conversation with Pig like when I say I never had a conversation with Pig I never had a conversation with Pig he would just me mug me every time and I always had a feeling that he didn't like me because as I said before none of Stanley's friends liked me only one person out of the whole group liked me he thought I was cool and he didn't see nothing wrong with me he was mad cool but the rest of them they did not like me at all right I was arguing with another one of Stanley's friends on Twitter about something do have I have no freaking idea and tell me why Pig the size that he's gonna add he's gonna add his two cents in the mix y'all when I tell you I was so shocked to see pig adding his two cents in the mix bitch I'm looking at him like Ariana what are you doing here and I was so confused I was just like where, where did you come from like where like 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 where did no like no like seriously where did you come from and he just starts going off on me y'all and i tell you he just starts going off he just starts going off on me he basically just started to tell me how he's tired of me and stuff like that how i caused so much drama around the school i look like a pig and y'all when he told me that i look like a pig literally damn near everyone on twitter was laughing eating him up they were hyping his head up they were like yeah like she do look like a pig people started uh mentioning me i started getting a whole bunch of mentions in my um in my mention I, I started getting a whole bunch of ads in my mention basically saying oink oink put in pig emojis like i said before i got bullied in so many different manners i have so many story times and incidents of me being bullied and shit i have so many story times but y'all when i tell you this this story time infuriated me so badly like i was so angry because like they just kept putting pig emojis and my mentions i couldn't even see my regular mentions with me mentioning my friend and y'all this is back then where twitter was like really really popping when everyone was on twitter twitter is still in my honest opinion it's still you know popping but you know not everybody on Twitter like how everyone was back in the days. So this is when the whole, everyone was on Twitter. I couldn't even see my regular friends mentioning me because all I keep seeing is people putting pig um, emojis, people saying oink oink, people actually typing out the word pig to me. And I was frustrated, y'all. Like, I felt some type of way because I was like, I never talked to you in the hallways. Me and you have never had a conversation. Why did you choose today to argue with me? And then on top of that, Pig was, I'm not going to say Pig was local, but a lot of people knew him around the school because he used to play basketball. So a lot of people knew him. And when he mentioned me and started arguing with me, it's like it elevated the argument from the previous guy that I was arguing with. And why was guys arguing with girls on Twitter? Who knows? The world may never know. So baby, at this rate, I end up adding Pig and I told Pig that when I see him, I told Pig that when I see him, I'm going to deal with him. That's all I said. I said, when I see you in the hallways, I'm going to deal with you. Mind y'all, y'all have to understand, I'm in the classroom while this is all happening. I'm in a class period. I remember this so vividly. I was in aquatic science, y'all. I was in aquatic science. I don't know if you guys have that at y'all school, but we had aquatic science. I'm in aquatic science and I can literally feel people staring at me because people in my classroom is seeing what's going on on Twitter. Like people are literally looking up at me like this, like, and then a couple of my friends that are at the desk are like, are you okay? Like, I see what's going on on Twitter. Are you okay? And I'm, y'all, when I tell you I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Like, I'm so angry. Like, my leg is literally, like, shaking. Like, I'm so freaking angry. Because, like, it's not the fact that he called me a pig. Well, it is. But it's the fact that, like, I just felt like I never got a break at this school. I'll probably get a break for, like, a week. But then the very next week, I was in some other type of drama. And it was just annoying. And people were just dick riding, all jokes aside. Because people that were arguing with me, I did not have no personal beef with. They just didn't like me because such and such didn't like me. Because, such, like, it was always, like, a because factor. Like, because such and such didn't like me. He didn't like me. You know? So, it it just became annoying at this point. Like, it became annoying. And it became, it, I just started to feel like 
like everybody dick riding type shit like everyone is dick riding and nobody is really having a real issue with me for real right so the bell rings for us to go to our last period of the day because we were at six period and my school has seven periods in the day so at this point y'all bitch the class that i had to go to was no class because i didn't have a seven period i didn't have a seven period so when the bell would ring for seven period i would usually just leave the class go downstairs and meet up with one of my other friends and me and her we used to go to like chick-fil-a and we'll go to the gas station and we'll just go get something to eat um because i used to take my neighbor home i had a car around that time i used to take my neighbor home honestly it wasn't like a task like i actually enjoyed taking my neighbor home because we were friends at that time so me and my friend would just linger around like food places until seven period was over then we'll go back to the school but bitch i had other plans that day like i told pig that when i see him i'ma deal with him and i meant every word i said so as soon as that bell rung bitch i started sprint walking bitch you could have called me you saying but bitch i almost started running so at this point i started running in the middle of the hallway looking for pig and it was making me more mad because the more i was walking in the hallway people were staring at me like on some like they seen me on twitter like people are like like, you know how people's looking at you you could tell they're like they know like they know so i end up seeing pig he's in the middle of the hallway it's like we made eye contact at the same time and it's like we're still kind of far apart he's standing he's standing um in the middle of the hallway with stanley's group of friends but stanley's not around like i don't see stanley at all but he's standing in the hallway with um stanley's group of friends and like you could tell they're talking about me because as soon as like I made eye contact with him all the friends kind of made eye contact with me too and they were like <laughs> like you know laughing like just childish for what like just childish for what so um i i literally came up to him and y'all i y'all i hit him yes yes y'all i hit him i hit him in his head boom i hit him at this point bitch i don't know why i was hitting niggas like, like, they won't jack me up. But I was just so angry, bitch. I didn't care. I didn't care. I, I, I didn't care. So I reached for it to hit him. Y'all know what this boy does? So at this point, when I reached for it to hit him, the whole friend group is literally, like, pushing me away to the point where I didn't really get to, like, hit him for real. Everybody's pushing me. Mind you, these are guys. They're all pushing me back, like, hey, chill, hey, chill. You know what this boy starts doing? This boy starts going, <laughs> y'all y'all if you guys don't know where i'm taking this story what 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 what, what is what, what is that bitch i know some people about to think oh he was making pig noises at you no 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 no. i'm gonna say it again one more time class what was this nigga was clearing his throat so he can bring mucus from his esophagus to his mouth to spit on me y'all he tried to spit on me so at this point he ends up like um i can hear the noises like really loud like i can hear the noises even though the guys are in my way pushing me back i can literally mind you pig short like this motherfucker is shorter than me i'm like you so worried about me being a pig you should be asking god for more height you shouldn't be worried about me so he's short so but i can still see his little short leprechaun ass going <laughs> who the real pig me or you so then at this point this boy cocks back to try to spit on me y'all and he spits but he misses because i hear him from the beginning when he's clearing his throat so he goes and i end up hurrying up and moving and the spit hit the floor y'all when that spit hit the floor bitch i don't give a fuck if the spit hit the floor bitch i don't give a fuck if the spit hit the trash can bitch i don't give a fuck if the spit hit the cat bitch i don't give a fuck if the spit hit the dog bitch you try to you try to aim the spit at me you try to aim the spit at me so y'all when he spit on me y'all i lost all my senses when i tell you i screamed so freaking loud so freaking loud then my friend said that they heard me on the other side of the school yelling. That's how loud I was. I screamed, y'all. I was screaming. I was trying to get to him. But like I said before, his guy friends were like, they had a good protective barrier over him. Like they was not letting me get to him at all. So I kept trying to get towards him. They just kept like, you know, pushing me back, like saying, hey, chill, hey, chill. And I'm like, did you just spit on me? 
did you just spit i'm like i'm going off on him y'all like it's crazy everybody in the hallway is looking some people recording like it is crazy y'all mind you while i'm yelling and screaming and everything at him he's like yeah girl are you dumb are you dumb you try to hit me you try to hit me are you dumb so the monitors end up running upstairs and grabbing me and grabbing him they end up taking me to the office as soon as i walk into the office and I know some of you guys about to be like, where was Stanley? Stanley wasn't there. But apart from Stanley not being there, Stanley ass ain't never defend me. Like, he never defended me. All he used to do was text me and be like, you need to chill. Like, Stanley never took my side. And that's why, like, looking back at it, I don't know what I saw in this bum. Because he did not give a fuck about me at all. He didn't even have the decency to tell his friends to leave me alone. It's actually crazy because one of his guy friends ended up yelling to one of his friends to leave me alone one time. Because he was tired of them bullying me. But Stanley, the guy that I was sleeping with, couldn't even, didn't even have the decency to tell his friends to leave me alone. Like, it's like he let them bully me and he always took their side like he will always text me and be like you need to stop you need to chill you're doing a lot like he always took their side y'all so I get to the office and literally as soon as I walk inside the office it's the principal it's the principal that don't like me she looking at me and she looks angry and then so she's like do you know that we can hear you all the way from uh downstairs like mind you we're upstairs when i did that yelling and i told her straight up i said i don't care i don't care i don't care because i've been telling you for years mind you at this time we're in 12th grade y'all the bullying started in 10th grade i've been telling you for years that i'm getting bullied but because you have favoritism towards athletes because my principal she used to be an athlete herself so she had a lot of favoritism towards athletes like this lady would legit say um we had a no off campus rule, meaning during lunch periods, you cannot get in your car and go off campus to get food. Like that was like if you get caught, you could get sent to ISS or you can even get suspended type shit. So but tell me why athletes got to go like she allowed them to go. I used to see them walk into their car while we eating the nasty ass lunch. I see athletes walk into their car to get Chick-fil-A to get like to get real food while we eating this nasty school food. She had favoritism and majority of the guys that bullied me were athletes or kids that were popular that she was cool with so every single time that i used to tell this lady that i was getting bullied she never did nothing about it like she always used to punish me so when she got me in the office talking about do you know i can hear you da 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 bitch i told her straight up i don't care i don't care so at this point when i told her i don't care bitch you would have thought everybody in the office said <gasps> Bitch, everybody said, like, 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 <laughs> bitch, 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 everybody was saying, oh, like, bitch, I said a curse word, bitch, all I said is I don't care, bitch, I freedom of speech, bitch, I don't care, like, I don't care, and the reason why I don't care is because I've been telling you for years that these kids are bullying me, but you keep taking their side, you keep giving them less offenses than me, whenever I used to get in trouble, um, for arguing with somebody, or getting into it with somebody, I will always get the worst punishment than they would, and, her reasoning for me getting the worst punishment was that I was so loud. So that's the reason why she's giving me the worst punishment. No, you have favoritism. Just tell the truth and say that you have favoritism and you don't like me. So whenever I do something, it irritates you more than the person that I'm that that um that did something. Like for instance, I would if I get suspended, if no, like if the person that I got in trouble with, if they get suspended for two days, she'll suspend me for four. Sometimes if they get ISS, I'll get suspended. It's like she always upped up my um my my offenses and she will always and she will also do things like she'll suspend me for two days then she'll put me on lunch detention for the rest of the week when i came back but the other person would just get suspended for one day like she did not like me at all y'all so at this point she's like oh you don't care mind you this is a black lady so she's like you don't care yeah you don't care oh, okay oh, okay so she starts running like running really quickly to go get the phone to call my mom because my mom she used to work out at the same gym as my mom and she, every time my mom would come home from the gym my mom would be like oh she said you did this today she said like this bitch will be going telling my mom what I was doing like on days that like I wasn't even doing nothing too much like she'll be like oh she said you was doing this today she said 
bitch, do you want to eat me out? Like, do you want to eat? Why do you care about what I'm doing? Like, get out my face type shit. Tell these losers that you are babysitting, that you are allowing to torture me. Tell them to stop bullying me. You worried about telling my mom what I did on a daily basis. Like, bitch, why are you keeping um, a record on me on what I'm doing? And Like, I was just so over her, right? She and my mom, my, like I said before, I used to get in trouble a lot. Like, apart from me getting bullied, I was a bad child. Like, I used to get in trouble a lot. So, my mom used to believe everything that this lady would tell her. My mom would be like, yeah, she said you did ABCD. Like, is it true? Like, she'll be asking. And I'm like, bro, like, I'm not even going to entertain that conversation. Like, whenever my mom would ask, I'll just be like, I'm not entertaining that conversation, right? She used to like to talk to my mom. She did not like talking to my dad because... Um, I'm not saying that my dad took my side, but he didn't really do much about it. He just used to be like, oh, okay. Like, he didn't really do much about it. He just used to be like, I wish they would stop calling. And then he would, like, lecture me a little bit, and that would be that. Like, my dad was the type of person that would bring up me getting in trouble when me and him got into it personally. But, like, outside of that, he didn't really... Not, I'm not saying he didn't care, but, like, he didn't have the energy for it, right? So, she used to like to talk to my mom because my mom, on the other hand, was very... What did you do? Da, da, da. What did you say? Like, my mom was like that, right? So, she runs to go call my mom and she ends up telling my mom that I was screaming really hard at a student and that I hit the student because one of the monitors come in um, before she gets on the phone and ends up telling her that Pig told her that I hit him. So she ends up telling my mom that I hit the student and I don't know what my mom is saying on the other line because she has the phone to her, to her ear. I, I just keep saying I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, she's legit like imagine like she's talking she's like yeah and she's over here saying she don't care right now i said i don't care like i was yelling it very loud i said i don't care i don't care i don't care like i just kept saying it over and over again because bitch i don't care like i don't care type shit like i keep telling you these kids are bullying me you're not doing nothing about it i don't care and i told her straight up i said and i'll do it again and i'll do it again and i'll do it again i just kept repeating it over and over again she was like i don't know if you can hear her right now she's saying she'll do it again so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna suspend her but i'm getting really sick and tired of your daughter i low-key want to kick her out of the school i don't know what my mom was selling saying to her i have no idea because like i said before i couldn't hear my mom but she ends up talking to my mom Mom and she ends up um hanging up the phone she tells me she she looks up my schedule she sees that I don't have no more classes so she's like you can go go home go home and I'm like I'm not I can't go home like because remember what I told you guys I had to wait for my neighbors and she was like no I want you off my premises go home like she was like go home I end up going home y'all this lady suspended me for three days nothing happened to pig you see what I'm saying like, do y'all see what I was dealing with in high school? Like, do you guys see what I was dealing with in high school? I was dealing with people bullying me, me retaliating, and I'm getting in trouble only. Like, I'm not saying that I should have never gotten in trouble for screaming, because I should have never screamed that loud. But y'all have to understand, your girl was losing her mind at that school. Like, I was legit losing my mind. Like, I felt like I was going to crash out on somebody one day, all jokes aside. Because it was so much. Like, I couldn't take it. Like, it was mentally draining getting bullied the way I got bullied. Like, it was mentally draining. The fact that this boy didn't even get sent to ISS. He didn't even get lunch detention. He didn't even get suspended. But I got suspended for three days. It goes to show you that this lady has severe favoritism. She did not care to show it at all. Like, she hated my guts. So, she ends up kicking me out um my neighbor she had to walk home that day because bitch I went home and bitch when I went home I wasn't coming back out okay <laughs> and so I went back home I went home um surprisingly it's actually so weird my mom was on my side she knew that something wasn't right because when she came home I was crying really really hard she was like what happened because she didn't really get to hear my side of the story she just heard the shit that the principal said so she was like what happened and I ended up telling her what happened and my mom basically was like mm, I knew something happened for you to scream like that and I ended up also showing her the tweets of people like calling me pig and stuff and all that shit and I told her I said nothing happened to him I said he tried to spit on me and she was like uh-uh and so my mom ends up calling the principal back and telling telling the principal like on some like what are you gonna do about him he tried to spit on my daughter he tried to spit on my daughter what are you gonna do about him so the principal's like oh well I don't have proof that he did that but we have proof that Irene was yelling I'm 
I'll show you proof. <laughs> I'll show you proof. <laughs> I'll show you proof. Oh, bitch, I'll spit on you. <laughs> I'll demonstrate what he did on you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Bitch, I said he spit on me. Bitch, what the fuck I got to lie about that for? Obviously, there's a reason I screamed. You think I screamed for the hell of it? But you think I wanted to do acapella in the middle of the hallways? You think I want to go, ah, 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 in the middle of the hallways? Bitch, I screamed for a reason. What are you talking about? So... My mom gets mad and she ends up saying, I'm going to need something to happen to that boy too. She said, if you're going to suspend my child for yelling, you need to suspend that boy for school bullying. Because my mom was like, um, she showed me the tweets. The boy was bullying. She's like, you need to suspend him too. Or I'm going to go to the district because this is unacceptable. So when my mom started talking like that, they ended up suspending him. I don't know how many days he got, but I do know he got suspended because my friends told me they did not see him at school for the next couple of days. So he ended up getting suspended too or whatnot. And after that, he ain't never talked to me again. He ain't never tweet to me again. The principal basically told both of us that if we ever at each other on social media again, that she was going to suspend us again and also try to figure out a way for both of us to get kicked out. I didn't believe her. I feel like she was directing that towards me, but I feel like she wanted him to hear that too. So I didn't go back home and tell my mom like, oh, mommy, she said ABCD, but she didn't tell him. You get what I mean? But she basically said that we should never talk to each other again, speak to each other again, tweet to each other again and if we do we're gonna get kicked out and i was just looking at her like shut the fuck up bitch she he's the one that started it i didn't start it the fuck don't give me that speech so yeah y'all that is what happened i used to see him in the hallways after he would just look at me i would just look at him and as usual stanley took his side stanley texted me talking about some yeah you need to stop arguing with my friends da 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 like i'm just like stanley get the fuck stanley get the fuck off my phone get off my phone you steady taking these boys' sides. Get off my phone. So, yeah, y'all, that is what happened. More shit happened afterwards. If you guys want to hear that story, could you guys please, 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 I'm begging you guys. Could you guys get this um, video to 2K likes or whatnot? I, not, I mean, not 2K likes, 2.5K likes. Even 3K likes. Come on. It'd be a lot of y'all watching the video and none of y'all be liking. Y'all don't be liking. But... For the ones who come and like religiously, like before they finish the story time, I love you guys so much for that. And if you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe, definitely hit that hit that button. I love you guys so much, and I'm definitely going to be dropping a lot of videos this year, so stay tuned. Bye, y'all.